In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the D800's exposure preview mode available in Live View, as well as its new on-screen meter and live histogram display. The exposure preview is kind of new. It was available on the D7000, but only when you use the movie mode, but that entailed some restrictions on what shutter speed and what aperture control you had. Whereas on the D800, you now have the exposure preview available both in the stills mode as well as the movie mode. What is new, however, are the on-screen meter and live histogram display. These features previously were only available on Nikon's flagship bodies like the D3S and the D3X. They were not available on either the D7000 or the D700. The default mode when you enter live view is the non-preview mode. This is where the camera attempts to maintain a constant LCD brightness irrespective of the exposure parameters you have entered. So it's what I call the auto gain mode where it's boosting the brightness of the display as necessary. And you can see as I change the exposure compensation, it had no effect on the brightness because the exposure is not being previewed. If you do want to change the brightness, even without the exposure preview, you can press the zoom out button and hit the right button on the multi-selector and that'll give you a scale in which you can change the base brightness of the LCD. To enter exposure preview mode, press the OK button once. When you do, the on-screen meter is immediately displayed. That meter will always be displayed on the screen in preview mode, regardless of how many times you cycle through the various informational screens via the info button. So it's a good way to tell that you're in exposure preview mode. You can see now as I change the exposure compensation, the brightness changes in accordance with the difference of exposure that I'm dialing in. Now, if you press the info button two more times, you now have, in addition to the meter, an on-screen live histogram. And you can see as I change the exposure, that histogram changes in real time to reflect the full exposure of the scene that you have exposed. Unfortunately, the bounding box around the histogram is not a separate color, so it's hard to distinguish the white of the histogram from the bounding box to know precisely when you're at shadow or highlight clipping. But since you can change the exposure parameters in real time and have the histogram change, it's easy enough to know when you've moved the histogram to the point of clipping. Unlike the aperture and shutter priority mode, where you have the option to turn on or off for exposure preview, in manual exposure mode, exposure preview is always enabled and there's no way to disable it. You can see there the exposure is changing even though there's not an on-screen meter. And a further demonstration of that, I've now pressed the OK button to bring on the meter and histogram and we're still getting the exposure preview the same as when I did not have the on-screen meter enabled. The fact that exposure preview is always enabled within the manual exposure mode can create problems in certain shooting conditions. For instance, flash photography, where you've dialed in exposure parameters that are appropriate for flash, but which create a very low light image on the display because the camera is attempting to preview the exposure. One way around that is to switch to aperture priority to do all of your framing. That way you get a constant brightness with the exposure preview off, and then when you're ready to shoot the photograph, you can switch back to manual exposure mode to snap the photos. This works well because the camera remembers each of the settings for aperture priority and manual in separate banks so that you don't have to reset the settings when you switch back and forth between the modes.